today I want to do a quick video on uh, naming your units. Now we all know that there are units out there that you, you know, you buy from whichever company that you buy them from, and they have a, a name attached to it. But sometimes those names really don't do the unit justice, or it doesn't make the unit yours. It doesn't bring it home. It doesn't make it one of yours. I want to I want to shout out to uh, the bouncing chicken because we had talked about this and and he had some some input into this as well. Um, but you guys need to realize that when you when you buy a unit and you stick your brand on it, there are things about that unit that need to be specific to you and to your company because there are things that associate in your area um, with you and with your company and with, with the area itself. Probably one of the biggest examples is um, Coke. In the South, any soda that we drink is, is a Coke. Um, so we associate that with, with, with the home of, you know, because Atlanta is obviously the, the, the home of, of Coca-Cola and it's one of the big soft drinks out there so that we are getting those two in an association together and all the sodas are so or Coke. Now, if you have, for instance, let's say that you have a, a, a water slide that has a tropical theme to it and you name that something like, uh, I don't know, Baja Blast or something like that whatever. If you don't have any kind of association with that, if you don't have something that's bringing that home, what happens is, is that those uh, units will have this disconnect. Now, if you have, for instance, we're in Georgia, and if I had that same unit and I named it the, you know, um, Panama Blast, because we're close to Panama City, or the Savannah's Blast because Savannah is a big uh, beach city in in Georgia. Uh, then it begins to change and it begins to become something else. Now, well, you can go the other direction and you can name something that everyone knows, like uh, call it the 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 Amazon blast or the Amazon, you know, whatever. Um, the Amazon is such a big name that it, it, it kind of fits. But if you're if you're looking at something that is is you know centralized around a different area and something else, it, you're going to have that disconnect and it's not going to work for you. So think about that. One other thing that you need to keep in mind is is that you can help yourself by having your customers be a part of that. There's nothing to say that you can't run a contest on on you know one of the social media sites and have your customers name the unit, and even do such a thing as say, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have a contest and and everybody who enters, and we're going to vote on the name and whoever wins, you know, the people who 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 vote for a certain name, we're going to put them in a hat and we'll pull the name out of the hat and whoever wins is going to get. 10% off the rental of this unit, or, you know, you can go all out and say, look, we're going to do our first party at your house. It's going to be free for you. All you have to do is pay my delivery guys. And we're going to do, you got to let us do a photo shoot because we got to take pictures of it anyway.
So you're bringing your customers in and at the same time, you're allowing them to be a part of, of it. And I promise you, what's going to happen is, is you're going to make that connection with your, your, your customers. You're going to have this, uh, this, you know, feeling that, that they were a part of, of the whole creation. They're a part of your company. And therefore they have this trust and understanding of your company that goes beyond just renting units or whatever. They helped name that, that slide. Hugely important. Now you, you got to be careful because, you know, it, it can get dangerous. You, obviously, you don't want it being named something that's that's you know adverse to the business. You don't want it named something that is you know uh, discriminatory towards somebody or or you know just any of those things. It has to be something that is you know that is kind of universal and at the same time you know works well. Also, be careful with branding your unit. If you name it something and it and it you know sticks that brand to it, to where they don't associate it with with anything other than that brand, you may be in trouble. For instance, if you had a red, yellow, and blue bounce house and you call it the Superman Bounce, then how are you going to name it something else? How are you going to sell it for anything other than a Superman party if you call it the Superman Bounce? So be very careful when you do do things like that. Um, you do want to leave it open so that you're you're getting, you know, more into it than than just you know one restricted name or or something like that. Hey, uh, tell me one of the oddest names of one of your units. I'd love to hear from you guys and, you know, let me know some of the, the, the strange names that you came up with. Uh, put them in the comments below. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe you have some good names for the, some of the stuff that we're getting or I'm going to get pretty soon. Uh, we're gearing up towards the summer, so we'll be picking up some new units. Um, you know, let us know if you had a success story. I appreciate you guys. We're in this together. There's no such thing as competition. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and we will see you on the next one.